Something very clear, and this is off the topic, but it's very, very, very important. Some of the brothers, Wallahu al-Musta'an, they struggle to differentiate between two completely different things. One of them is what we call sihru takhil, magic that involves uh, it involves illusions that happen in the sight. And they struggle between differentiating between this and what we call in Arabic sha'wada. And sha'wada is illusionary magic as in card tricks and making the penny disappear behind your ear. Okay? Distinguish between the two, ya ikhwan. The magic that was present at the time of Musa was from the magic that was present was sihru takhil. Deceiving the eyes by using the jinn and using magic to deceive the eyes. Not that the people of Fir'aun played card tricks and they took the, the coins between their ears and they said, there you go. That wasn't what the people of Fir'aun did. And they have two different words in Arabic. But lil asaf, unfortunately, some of the tulab al-ilm and Allah al-musta'an, they read some of the fatawa from the ulama and they don't know that Arabic has a different word for takhil and a different word for sha'wada. Sha'wada is magic that is not actual magic. It doesn't involve the jinn whatsoever. And it is haram. But distinguish between the two because when they say whoever does sihru takhil is a kafir, don't make a guy who took a penny from behind his ear a kafir. Distinguish between the two sihr that involves illusions and the jinn. Like we were talking about before, we were talking about, uh, what's his name, Dynamo. Qatalahullah. This shaytan, alayhi la'natullahi wal malaikati wal nasi ajma'in. Subhanallah, you can see that what he does is sihru takhil. It's not pulling a coin behind his ear. He's using the jinn and seeking closeness to the jinn to deceive the eyes. Whereas someone comes with a card trick, we say, Akhi, this is haram, make tawbah to Allah. But distinguish between the two, we call takhil, it magic with the jinn that deceives the eyes, and we call sha'wada, moving of the hand, that is quick slate of the hand that does not involve the jinn. So what was done in ancient magic of Egypt was the deceiving of the eye using the jinn and using disbelief and using coming close to the shaitan.